Hey guys, how's it going? I want to do a quick tutorial today on just how to make a like a grid system on Unreal. This might have multiple parts, but this is something I couldn't really find good documentation on, so I just had to figure it out the hard way. I've been getting into Unreal and it's been a lot of fun. So uh, let's get started. I'll just walk through it. So of course you just launch the engine. I'm using the latest as of today. And once you launch it, you just open it. Start a new project. I'm going to start from blank just to keep it super, super simple and straightforward and we'll just leave it all default. Of course, name yours, whatever you want, or this, you know, you should be able to integrate this into a current project if you want. And I'll, I'll just walk through it and we'll just we'll just get a little grid system going. So we've got this opening starter level, which doesn't really have anything. We're just gonna make a new level. So let's go, just right click down in your little content area, make a new level. I'm just gonna call it uh, grid world or grid level, open that up, and it's just blank. So first thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna get some sort of light, so I'm just gonna drag in a directional light. That way we can actually see our grid when we hit play. And we're gonna make a few things here for our grid. So uh, there are a lot of different ways to do this, but the way I like to do it is I like to make a little module that you can drop into any level. So to do that, we're gonna make a blueprint of just an actor class. And we're just gonna make this, we'll just call this like grid placer. Sounds good. So we'll double click on that, open it up. I'm gonna dock it here. And all we're gonna do to this grid placer is we're going to add a script. So on this event graph, we'll go to the event graph here. On begin play, we're gonna make a grid. And to do that, we're gonna hold like, let's say we wanna do like a bunch of planes in an XY type fashion. So we'll just have, you know, like a bunch of little squares and however we want. So we're gonna hold a few variables for how many we want. I'm gonna change this to integer and we'll have like a width. And we'll also make another one called uh, depth. Not really gonna worry about height in this case although technically you could have the, some height ones, but I'm just gonna keep them all the same height, so no Z, Z is just staying the same. And these, uh, I gotta hit compile. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them at five, width and depth of five. So it'll be a five by five grid is what I'm going for here. And now when we begin play, we just wanna enter a double for loop to place these. So we'll go for loop, uh, yeah, just a for loop here. And we'll make this one for the width. So it starts at zero, ends at width, and in this body we'll make another one for the depth. So another for loop. And this one's gonna be for the depth. And then every time we go through this, what we wanna do is just make a new grid piece. Bond after spawn actor from class. So we need a class. We could just say like a cube. It uh, doesn't seem to have that though. Uh, so we need to make something for it to actually spawn here. So we're gonna flip out of this blueprint and uh, make something. It's gonna have an error, that's fine. We'll come back to it. So let's go back here and we're, let's just make a bl another blueprint. And this one is going to be, we'll just make it another actor. We'll just call this like a grid section. So we'll open that up and let's add maybe a plane. Yeah, we'll just stick with planes. So yeah, we'll just make it a plane system. And they're just gonna be white tiles, but if we wanted to, let's see, we could make it look a little better if we have something that where we could kind of tell the border of each of them. So I'm gonna do that real quick with GIMP. So I'll just open up GIMP here. Okay, now that GIMP's open, we're just gonna create a new Maybe you already have a material, but basically all I'm gonna do is create a little a square object. So I'm going to go up here to uh, uh, gradient. Then we're gonna change this to square and we'll give it some sort of thing, like maybe this blue green. Yeah, do a gradient fill. Uh, that doesn't really look too great. Maybe we'll do this burning paper one. Okay, that's not bad. We'll try to get this right in the center. And now you can really tell, it, like if each 
plane was textured like this, you could really see where the edges are, and that's kind of the point here. All right, that's not too bad. We'll do it in a little more maybe. And you can do all sorts of things to, to do this however you want. I think that looks okay. And we'll really be able to tell what the sections pretty nicely there, I feel like. So let's go with that. So make sure that locks in. File, export as. And uh, I'm just gonna keep it somewhere where I can find it. I could go straight to my project. I'll just name this uh, grid, uh, grid text. And I'm gonna save it as a BMP. I don't care about opacity, I just want it to be small. So I'm gonna change this, yeah, 24-bit BMP is fine here. And it looks good, so now we can close that. And uh, I wanna go back to here, and I need to import it, so uh, we're gonna just find it on our desktop here and drag it in. So just open your folder, drag it in. And you can right-click it and create material. And uh, that's fine name and it'll make a material out of it, so that's what you need. So now we can go back to our grid section and uh, just find a material for it. Uh, we'll find grid, text, mat, there it is. And boom, there we go. Now we have uh, a little bit of a border on it. So we'll just save that. And now we're back to our grid placer and now we can choose the uh, grid section. Grid section. And it looks like it needs some more things. It's going to tell you it does need a spawn transform. Now this is where it goes. And we're going to use these loops to, to make something. Uh, we left that plain default size, which is, I believe, 100 by 100 in uh, Unreal size. So we need to make them each 100 apart wherever we place them. So we're going to do a make transform for each one of these. So every time it goes through this loop, we're going to make a transform. So we're going to click on to this location here, right click it, split to pen struct, and we'll drag in this index. So as it goes through this loop, we'll make it the X, and as it goes through this one, we'll make it the Y. But we need to multiply by 100. So I'm just going to make int times int, and look for integer times integer. Put uh, 100 on one side of it here, and this is now gonna have to go to here, and this is gonna go to here. And we no longer need this node that we first created. So I'm just going to copy, Control C, Control V, do the same thing here. So we're going to times whatever the index is by 100, and there we go. So also, if we look at these four loops, they are less than or equal to. So it's actually going to process this this last one. And uh, going from zero to five, we'll process in the last one, will actually give us six. So if we actually only want to place five, we could either start this index at one, or we could make this end at uh, minus one. So however you want to do that. I like starting at zero, so I'm just going to minus one them, like so. And I'll just copy paste. And that's just because how these default for loops are and you can just double click to look at them. They're just additional blueprints. All right. And then we take this return value of this transform and put it into this spawn trans transform. And that should be enough. Once we compile this, hopefully it gets rid of the error. Yep, it does. So that is gonna place us whatever the size of these grids are. We'll try to get it all on screen at once. Yeah, there she is. In case someone wants to pause and look at it. It's the begin play. And there she is. All right, so save that again. Make sure it's saved. Okay, so on this grid level, now all we got to do is take this placer and just throw it in there. And we got a light, we got a placer. Uh, we don't have a character for this level, so if we like go to this level, let's save. If we go to world settings, we need a game mode. That's just part of Unreal. I don't know. I don't have really a character since it's an empty project. There's no character or anything, so I think it's just going to give us like a flying camera, which is fine for looking at it. So it might be a little easier if you have a character and you spawn it above so that it falls on your grid. But if you want to edit how that grid looks and how it goes, you can just go back to the grid sections in the viewport and, and change these up a little bit however you want. So I could do like a uh, sky 
we'll just do a, a sky so we can actually sort of tell where we are there we go so there we go there's a there's a grid so if I if I just change it I edit my grid placer and change these we'll see that the grid will grow there we go I think I did 9 and 18 there hit play there's a bigger grid and as you can see I can't just fly through it all right well that's how you just do some general gridding stuff let me know if you want me to go further with this I probably will I might do two or three on gridding I might get a character and start like doing some tracking where you're at on the grid grid that sort of thing because uh, I know like grid combat is super popular and that's kind of what I want to do I've been working on a little game where I wanted to do grid combat and I couldn't really find much in way of the tutorials on grid combat so I just started figuring it out on my own and this was like the first step was actually getting a grid to place. Alright, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out guys.